$30 a month if you subscribe to it. This is not a cloud-based version. It is going to be loaded onto your desktop, and you pay your $30 a month. And the beautiful thing about that is that when Captivate 2018, 2019, whatever it is, comes out, you get the new version absolutely for free. Or you can plunk down $1,000 all at one shot and purchase just Captivate 2017. That does not give you 2018, 19, 20 for free. You have to plunk down right around typically five or $600 more if you want to upgrade, okay? So subscription, $30 a month, that's about $400 a year, gets you free upgrades as long as you keep your subscription current. And that's actually what I do for all of my developers and myself. Storyline, if you go with 360, which is part of Articulate 360, not Articulate Studio, but Articulate 360, you get Storyline 360, you get Scribe, you get four or five tools part of that 360 subscription, and you're going to pay $83 a month. So keep in mind, that sounds a lot more expensive than Captivate. Well, because it is, but you're getting five tools. So you're getting, um, if you go to Articulate's website, you'll see you get five different tools that equal the suite. The tool you'll most likely use more than any other is Storyline, but you get all these other tools for $83 a month. Or you can say, I just want to buy Storyline itself, version 3. That's what it's called, not 360. 360 is the part of Articulate 360, and you're going to plunk down $1,400. Okay? Or you can go with the absolute bargain of buying TechSmith Camtasia outright for $199 if you buy it yourself. And if you kind of compare the tools, look, one is $1,000, one is $1,400, one is $200. How could there be any comparison considering the price differences? But Camtasia, for what it is, does a fantastic job. So, and I'm going to show it to you how awesome it does to record a quick demonstration. It might be a big surprise to Linda and to Sandra, and they've used Storyline before. When I go to insert the recording, a lot of people think I insert it and that's it. If I want to insert one of the other modes, I have to go back and re-record. Notice it's asking me, do I want to insert the video on a single slide or the step-by-step -step clicks? And I can do view mode, try mode, test mode. I'm going to do try mode, okay? And I'm going to put it into a new scene, and uh, I'm going to leave the name try scene. I'll just click insert. Look what Storyline does. So here is my recording. I'm going to preview just to show you what I get. It's kind of cool. You've got all these buttons in the upper right here to, um, to show you how it would look on all those different devices see here. So I can see how it's going to look on a tablet or anything. But all that does is changes the menu bar and the play bar. It really doesn't make the lesson uh, look any different, really. So look, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to change my font, saying try again. If I do it, it actually now tells me how to do it. You see that? I get close, and that's telling me to drag the thing up there. So the video now kicked in, and now change it to 36. So it's an interactive simulation, okay? So that's kind of cool. I'm going to close the uh, preview.